This tutorial uses the distributions jump data set. Here we would like to calculate a one sample Z test on the heights of eighth graders. In this case, we'll go to analyze distribution and we'll place the heights of eighth graders into our response and then we'll click OK. So we can view this better. We'll go to distributions and click stack. And then to perform the Z test, we're going to click the drop down menu under the heights of eighth graders and we'll click test mean. Now we have to enter a hypothesized mean. So in this case, say I want to test the, the hypothesis that the mean is 65 inches for eighth graders. I'll enter 65 inches. And then I have to also enter in a standard deviation. So in this case, I could say the standard deviation is three inches. And then I'll click OK. Now the important thing here is to notice the Z test right here. The Z test calculates P values for different alternative hypotheses. The first one is a two sided test which gives a highly significant value. The second one gives an upper tail estimate. That would mean that the mean is greater than 65. And then the third one gives a lower tail alternative, which means that the mean is less than 65 inches.